think that the key to this is you have to find ways to utilize the depth. And we saw it against Philly. Like, the depth was fantastic. Like, Solinger came in off the bench when they needed him, sparked a run. You know, Jarebko comes in in the second half. You use him to throw double teams. Like, everybody had a role. Everybody played the role. You win by 17. Next night, it was like the depth almost got in the way. Or the next game against the Raptors, depth almost got in the way. It's like, like, nah, you know what? I don't think you should be giving minutes to all those big guys because then you have Amir Johnson playing 19 minutes. And then you have limited time for the small lineups. So it's like there's a balance there, and it's delicate, delicate balance because there's so many factors that go into it, and it's going to be different every night. And it's, it's on Stevens to make it work. Uh, the organization has a lot of trust that he can, but it's like so many tough decisions every night. And <laughs> like that's, you can either <laughs> depth, depth that can either help you, hurt you. I, it, somewhere in between depth is like the biggest riddle on this team right now because uh, there's like, where's that line where there's too much and where does it help? And how do you utilize it perfectly? And it's going to change all yes. okay. the time. So let's just accept this possibility that we're overreacting. That one game, and not even, not even just one game, one half. Because the first half wasn't so bad last night. The first half against Toronto wasn't so bad. The second half is where things fell apart. Because uh, they played they played Toronto... Pretty well. They went into the halftime, tied at 54. They they had some lapses, but, man, they had some really nice plays in, in that first half. They were moving the ball well. There there was a sequence where um, it was – I forget who it was. Was it Thomas, Lee, and Zeller? They had a, a play on, on the left side with it. That, was, that that pass was beautiful with, with the pick and roll to Zeller and then, Zeller dove Lee and then the quick yeah pass that, to was, that was that was a beautiful play beautiful pass. that it involved two of the guys that we're talking about not playing anymore so it's after it's entirely <laughs> possible that we're overreacting because we have an emotional reaction to one game against the first good team that they've seen so far. That some of the things that they were trying but, against bad teams just didn't work against a good team. But I don't think it's overreacting because I think this is the issue we all foresaw going into the season. Would be that depth could be sometimes an issue. And Stevens yes. has to harness it. And, and that's the thing. And I, I think that there's a lot of reason to believe that he will. And a lot of reason to believe that if, if you have 11, 12 capable guys, Stevens is the one you want figuring out how to give out the minutes. But at the same time, like, th- I think that was the issue we foresaw. And seeing it in action with Kelly Olynyk back against the Raptors, who admittedly are a good team and admittedly can make you look bad on some nights, especially when Terrence right. Ross is going bonkers. Um, like, that was... That was kind of to be expected, was that sometimes it's going to be a problem. And so I don't think it's overreacting when the issue that you thought was going to happen happened. And and now it's just, how do you use that? So I don't think it's always going to be an issue. And when their whole team plays better, like, as, like, if they had just played better, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. If if Amir Johnson had played 19 minutes and they'd won by 20, right, we'd be talking about oh he's his his legs are rested. Sullinger had a great game. David Lee looked good in the first unit. Man, like they have so many good options, and that's true. And there will be nights when it all works out, but there will also be nights when it's tricky, and and that's the issue. Right. So. We'll see. We'll see there. That, that's that's all going to be very interesting. That front court, as I said, I'm absolutely fascinated by it and how Stevens decides to do this every night because it's going to be different. And it's it's like a maze, navigating through a maze. Right. 